फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रुप फ्रेंड्स टुडे इट इज टाइम टू विजिट आवर ऑर्गेनिक फील्ड फॉर द मंथ दिस इज द एंड ऑफ सितंबर एंड टुडे वी विल सी व्हाट ऑल ऑर्गेनिक क्रॉप ग्रोइंग इनटू माय फील्ड एंड व्हाट इज देयर कंडीशन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विजिटिंग दिस आवर ऑर्गेनिक फील्ड एंड सी व्हाट ऑल आर ग्रोइंग सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट दिस अर्बन नेट हाउस हियर इज द This is our urban organic net house where we are growing all the things into the grow bags. I will put a separate video every month for this update of the detailing of this plant. But right now you can see just the very healthy growth and vigorous growth of the plant into this net house which we have all the plants into the grow bags. So next we'll see on our this side this is all the turmeric we have which we have planted. Now the if i tell you the story of this turmeric we have weeding done little late due to the labor issue and you can see the clear difference of the right time weeding on the right you can see when we have started the weeding on the right time then we don't have it 8 to 10 days we have delayed the weeding and you can see the turmeric on the left is get affected by that late weeding but now the new shoots are coming and hopefully we are going to recover this turmeric because all this uh, sun hemp were grown very big but now they are decomposing and supplying the nutrition so we are expecting soon our turmeric will be healthy i will keep you update on that in the next month on the left these are all the my grapes all different 11 variety of the grapes but this time we have started stressing the plant for getting the new shoots but before it uh, completed process the rain has started again and because of that you can see lot of new shoots are coming and our cutting is still pending so it is not the good time to cut when the water is there so we'll again let it dry for another 8 10 days and then we'll make the cut and try to take the some cropping we may get less cropping this time because the many shoots has already sprouted here you can see our nursery this nursery i have prepared into the crop cover and i have prepared for the winter crop i have different type of cabbage cauliflower and broccoli into it plus i have put some of the tomato brinjal and chili also for preparing the nursery so this nursery is well sprouted now and we'll wait another 8 to 10 days to develop 5 to 6 leaf and then we'll transfer or start our winter sowing work so this is the nursery here after that you can see the trial of the new variety of the turmeric which is high in curcumin and this turmeric is doing well you can see the good growth of the plants and we are expecting that good yield from this turmeric now moving further this is our aquaponic unit and behind what you see is our poly house where we are growing hydroponically i am putting regular update on hydroponic unit once a month so we'll be talking in detail about hydroponic growing over there but right now you can see just poly house this hydroponic house is with the different 6 or 7 system and will you update you regularly in upcoming time now here we are just harvesting bamboos and making our net house the flat net house on the back side open so get the sunlight into winter there we have planted apple and some of the vegetable plants so we'll be giving you the update next month for that now next here is our the mixed fruit orchard here i have all the different species of the fruit plants growing together here some of the custard apples uh, water apples lime lemon the jamun star fruit all these things are avocado all are there so here we have done nothing as on now but now we will be cleaning this field and trimming some of the plants to have a good sunlight ex exposure you can see the very dense canopy over here here are the our honey bee box these are trigona and they are doing well this helps us in pollination very well so here is our mixed fruit orchard 
let us go further for further detailing now here you can see the new compost pile right now we have just put the coconut leaves later on we are going to add some fine leaves also and make the leaf mold compost and here you can see the old compost area where the pile is settled up it was around six feet high now it is settled up into around three three and a half feet now we'll be harvesting or taking some fertilizer from the bottom layer and again start piling this over here here you can see in this net house the area covered with the net we have mixed plantation of the three plant plus turmeric here is a new variety of the turmeric which is doing well and here we have mango lychee and coconut three layer farming over for the fruit trees so this field is also doing good so friends let us move forward here you can see the another type of the bee box these are apis serena indica these are also doing good you can see the two box over here and this bees are the little big in size and aggressive so they are also doing good here you can see the last year compost pile and this is almost ready this is the again the big compost pile with the coarser material and this pile was around five and five and a half feet high now it has reached to one and a half to two feet so most of the decomposition has completed so we'll be removing this leaf from the top take out the manure and again start for, uh, making the compost with the new pile here is the new pile we are preparing for the new season so whatever leaf coming out of that area will come to here the next what you can see is the different custard apple plantation we have around 19 varieties of custard apple and this plant are now almost four years they have started some of the plants have started flowering and fruiting and we are expecting some of the fruits from the couple of plants but we need to wait further one year for full fruiting here we have developed the structure with the pruning technique and the plants are ready they are over vigorous as on now so this year also we are going to prune them little hard and then we'll have a small plants so this is all different variety of custard apples here is our pond where we do the water harvest as this is a sandy soil the water is not retaining into the pond much time but we are getting the advantage of this water in terms of soil water level getting continuously rise so we are getting this advantage and we are using this water again to the borewell to our field here is my citrus field in this citrus field we have different variety of the lime and lemon plus a one or two line of the uh, sweet lime and the oranges also now you can see that lot of weed is over there so we have to clean this but the fruiting has started this again into the fourth year and you can see here is a couple of fruiting is there and in this plant you can see the lot of fruiting so now this plants are mature and giving fruits there you can see some orange so the fruiting is just started now we need to clean this farm first and then we are going to put uh, different wine crops into this on the beds so first we will clean this this all grass is going to our cattle and then we will start some of the uh, cucumber or melon like this over here so now in the last i will show you my this one acre net house where we are showing different type of vegetables and for which i will keep you updating regularly with a separate video once a month this net house is just a year old and now we are planting many variety of vegetables into it and getting good results so friends this is all about my organic farm here i am practicing different type of fruit plantation vegetable plantation and all the new experiment also we have different type of fruit varieties available over here and we are growing many type of vegetables over here with that 
we are adopting some of the new technique also which in the form of a net house poly house and the other technique also are there for which i am putting regularly updates so friends how do you like my farm organic farm please write me back into the comment box and if you like my farm give me the thumb i am going to put regular update monthly for growth of the plant and the new development into the plant so for that you please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so they can also watch and give me the comments happy growing